I think it's so important that you trust the person you're working with. There's a lot of focus on somebody's performance and, oh, I'm number one in this or number one in that. And I think I shared this with you and I share it with people all the time is that because somebody's been very successful in a particular thing doesn't actually mean that they're a good fit for you. And so I think having that fit, having the trust and hopefully somebody that is like-minded or ideally maybe even at the same sort of stage or close to the same sta- stage that you're looking to embark on. Like the life, life stage? Exactly. And that would be okay. a small example. Um, I admit, mm-hmm. and I, I know very well that I'm perhaps not the best agent for a family of six. And I don't, mm-hmm. I'm not going to make it up. I understand what it's like to have four kids and juggle a job and shop. But what I do know is in, in learning that kind of thing is that or about somebody is that they're busy. And so for myself, in my skill set, I just try to really evaluate in my interactions with them, am I best using their time? Am I am I giving them more stuff to do or am I taking away like my job? Am I actually giving them a service by making it easier for them? Because somebody with a similar schedule to me, it's it's almost inconsequential. Like if they can make it work, it's great. And here we go. But in a lot of situations, when you're working with someone, scheduling is of paramount concern. I mean, we need to go and look at these places together. That's an interesting thing, though, because like, so you said trust, but I'm glad you broke it down because like trust is such like, I call it like a marquee word, like trust, you know, integrity, honesty. It's like, get out of here. Like, I mean, people talk about honesty all the time, myself included, but people, myself included, lie all the time. Not terrible, deceitful lies, but like little white lies and like little things to make life go easier. So we can have these big marquee ideas like honesty, trust. But what does that actually mean when someone's looking for a realtor? So something you said there that I thought was really interesting when you're like someone who kind of like actually understands your life because either they've been there or they're there now. (laughs) 